Calling everybody up's camp and moves down to Verona for the road races. The last time trial was the men's elite in Treviso over 56.6 kilometres, Paul. Chris Boardman was the man I think they would all like to beat. He certainly is a specialist of winner of the first ever time trial championships in Sicily back in 1994. Boardman is an expert time trialist, but the man he's really going to have to beat today is Jan Ulrich because the German, I think, Phil, is the real man on form at the end of this season. Well, there's no doubt the way he cleaned up in the time trial in the recent Tour of Spain, which he won, uh, he is the man to beat. Michael Anderson threw a spanner in the works, though, although for the last five years he's been champion of Sweden. I don't think anybody expected him to put up the time trial ride, which he did. Michael Anderson is an exceptional time trialist. He's able to rival men like Chris Borman. Borman, a winner three times of the prologue of the Tour de France. But this man, Jan Ulrich in the starting gate now, himself the winner of the Tour de France last year, and more recently the winner of the Tour of Spain, has proved to be one of the greatest time trialists of recent years. And let's not forget, twice second in the Tour de France as well. And now a German winning the Tour of Spain. And what a hard Tour of Spain it was. Ulrich then knows that the odds are on him doing a good ride today. Certainly all the cheers for him here now as he accelerates up to speed for this ride over 56.6 kilometres. Not an easy course either. And just to remind the riders of that, they even start on the cobbles here in this beautiful town of Treviso. But Bourbon here showing the style that's made him one of the best riders in the world. The world, our record holder on the track. But you can see that very low profile position of Bourbon's taking him up to speeds approaching 55 kilometres an hour. In contrast, though, Phil, the power of Jan Ulrich, he really is a strong man. Well, Borman and Anderson were always pretty close, but in fact, Ulrich was really riding extremely well, bringing back memories of his superb time trial in the recent Tour of Spain, where he opened at winning margins that looked like the old winning margins of the great Miguel Ingerain. Chris Borman approaching the finish, though, not surprisingly, was about to set the time that the other two would have to aim for. And the best time on the board at the moment, that of Bela Voschiks, uh, but it was about to be re rewritten by Chris as he came over in 1127. 49 and a half kilometers an hour, but the times out on the course were being sent by Michael Anderson and of course Jan Ulrich, who were flying up to the line. And when it was Anderson's turn to come up, he came up with a very remarkable time. In fact, Michael Anderson has used his time trial speed many times to win big stage races, especially in South Africa. And this time he threw a real shock out to everybody as he came in initially with the best time of 1 hour and 42 seconds. But Ulrich was still to come. And when Jan Ulrich came in, everybody knew already it was going to be close. Anderson had ridden very well. It was Chris Borman who dropped off the pace somewhat. But Ulrich was being challenged by Anderson at all the time checks. So Ulrich needed to deliver a fast finish. But he certainly knows how to do that. He's done that in the Tour de France and the Tour of Spain. And on the line he went over. 50 kilometers an hour to take his first time trial championships of the world to go with his 1993 amateur road racing championship. So his great end of season continues. Now the time trial champion of the world. The two Australians, Nathan O'Neill, the former time trial champion of Australia, he finished 22nd in 63 minutes and 7 seconds. And Bradley McGee, who rides on the French Les Français de Jeux team, 31st. He finished with 64 minutes and 20 seconds. Also uh, finding form late in the season. But this man, who was the 1993 World Amateur Road Race Champion, and in fact he wore this jersey here in Australia, now finding he's pulling on a professional World Champions jersey to add to his uh, golden jersey of the recent Tour of Spain. What a season at the end he's having. What a remarkable end to the season for Jan Ulrich, who was deprived of riding in the Tour de France this year because of a silly little crash in his own tour of Germany when he broke a, a bone in his wrist. He wasn't able to get back fit enough in time to come to the Tour de France, but certainly he has used the Tour of Spain initially, he said, only as preparation for the end of the season. But I tell you one thing, he walked away with a remarkable victory in the Tour of Spain, and he's come here to the World Championships, Phil, in the best form, I reckon, of his life. Absolutely, and a chance of the double still on because he said he's going to ride in the elite road race and will move down uh, towards Verona tomorrow with everybody else on the entourage of the World Championships. But this man, when he's in full crime, we've seen this in the Tour de France uh, these past few years when he's on form he really is the strongest time trial rider in the world Abraham Olana by the way the defending champion did not ride he's injured
Chris Paul, I think, looking.